Warning, the following content uses actual science to back up its claims, rather than whims and speculation. If you wish to keep believing that gorillas are all-powerful beings that can one-hit a lion, then click off this video now. Gorilla fanboys, you have been warned. Gorillas, gorillas, gorillas. We all know them, and we all like them. But, their fanboys can be pretty annoying. There are people who think a gorilla can lift 27 times their body weight. That's the same weight as a fully grown African bush elephant. There are even some websites that claim a gorilla can crush a crocodile. I don't know about you, but I don't think a crocodile is just gonna magically let a gorilla pick it up. Anyways, I want to say that I'm starting a new series on disproving fanboys and debunking common myths. So sit back, relax, and watch to the end because this is gonna be a very interesting video. Alright, before we start debunking common myths, we should get some base stats of a gorilla first. These beasts mainly roam the lowlands and rainforests of Central Africa. They are mainly herbivorous, eating fruits and lush vegetation, but they have been known to eat insects. A healthy silverback gorilla can weigh between 350 to 430 pounds and can stand between 5 feet 6 inches to 6 feet tall on their hind legs. The largest gorilla subspecies is the eastern lowland gorilla, which mature males can weigh around 460 pounds, making them the largest, well, formerly the largest primate ever since humans surpassed the 500 pound mark. Gorillas face off with other members of their own species, and the occasional leopard. And yes, leopards prey on young or sick gorillas, but they definitely do not take on a silverback gorilla in a head-on fight due to the huge size and strength gap. Alright, we have our baseline stats. Now, let's move on to the first fallacy, which is gorillas are between 4 to 9 times stronger than the average human. This is a pretty common myth and I gotta admit, I kinda believed it until I did further research on the subject matter. First, how do we define strength? Is it how much we can bench press, or how much we can squat, or how hard we can kick or hit? I think humans tend to judge strength based on their upper body power. So, let's base the fallacy on that. Many people and websites claim they can lift 4,000 pounds, but where did they get that information from? There have not been any recorded tests on how much a gorilla can lift, making the judgment pure speculation at best. This claim falls under the fallacy Hitchens Razor, which shows that the burden of proof regarding the truthfulness of a claim lies with the one who makes the claim. If the burden of proof is not met, then the claim is unfounded, and its opponent needs to not argue further in order to dismiss. This basically means that if your outrageous claim has no solid evidence, and is just pure speculation, then it can be disregarded. But, let's play along with the fallacy that gorillas can lift 4,000 pounds, which is 2 tons. The anatomy of a gorilla is more centered around the motion of pulling rather than pressing. So, the gorilla would perform rather poorly when bench pressing. I also want you to think about this for a second. Saying a gorilla is able to lift 10 times its body weight is saying that it can lift the weight of a hippo. So, the notion that gorillas can bench press 2 tons is false. And by the way, before I continue, I want to shout out a channel called Wild Viral. He makes amazing videos about animals and wildlife, and has even a similar video regarding the true strength of a gorilla on his channel. The link will be in the description for his page in the gorilla video, so feel free to check it out. Now, let's discuss muscle composition. There are two main builds that primates generally fall under, which are explosive power and endurance. The muscle composition of a gorilla has a high number of type 2 fast twitch muscle fibers, which means it's built for explosive movements. Type 2 fibers are correlated with quick, sudden bursts, while type 1 fibers, or commonly known as the slow twitch muscle fibers, are more for long-term and endurance movements. A non-athletic human might have close to a 50-50 balance when concerning slow and fast twitch muscles. Top-end, power-reliant athletes like professional fighters have around 70-70 5% fast twitch muscle fibers in their frequently exercised limbs. Now, let's compare that to a healthy, mature silverback gorilla. 
their fast twitch muscle composition would typically be around 70 to 80 percent depending on how often the limb is used. This means that a silverback gorilla casually has the same percentage of fast twitch muscle fibers as a professional power reliant athlete. The main difference is that the gorilla is around 400 pounds and has a different physique than a human. So, you may be wondering, would a 400 pound power lifter have the same explosive strength as a gorilla? Well, not exactly. On paper, it looks that way. But in reality, the shape and size of the muscle plays a big role in strength. Due to the gorilla's physique and way of life, it has longer and more muscle-dense arms than a human. Which would mean that in theory, if everything was set equal, the gorilla would still have a more powerful upper body. But, not by a considerable amount. Although I can't give an exact number on how much a gorilla can theoretically lift, it likely would be a little more than that of the strongest humans alive on Earth, like Brian Shaw. However, this is assuming that a gorilla would have complete control over their muscles, which they don't. When gorillas do tasks like striking or pulling, they tend to do it using all their arm muscles rather than a select individual group. For example, humans can do certain workouts targeting an individual muscle like biceps and triceps. The gorilla would not be able to do the same workout like a bicep curl because it lacks the control over isolated muscles. So. Basically, a gorilla would be a poor martial artist and a poor thrower. However, that does not mean you should challenge a gorilla to a fight because you most certainly would get destroyed. Once again, let's use a 400 pound power lifter as an example. If we measured the striking force of a 400 pound power lifter to a 400 pound gorilla, the silverback would produce a stronger strike. But enough about humans. How does a gorilla fare in terms of strength against other animals? Well, once again, it's quite hard to calculate since there are a lot of factors to consider, but doing some research which I will provide links to in the description, a healthy silverback gorilla would be around the same strength as a lion. Now, I got a lot of comments on videos saying that a gorilla would one hit a lion, tiger, or bear, but that is not the case at all. I hate to burst your bubble, but a gorilla is not Saitama from One Punch Man. If you think about it, a male gorilla actively fights for dominance, and in doing so, they hit each other a lot. If a gorilla could one strike its way to victory, there would be no fighting amongst each other, and would cause the gorilla to adapt a speed build, so it could strike first. And, like I stated previously, gorillas do not hold back when they fight, and use all their arm muscles when they strike, since they do not have good control over individual muscles. This means that when using all its strength, a silverback gorilla has to fight a gruesome battle against other mature males of similar size. So, the notion that a gorilla can ragdoll and dominate an animal around the same size as it, let alone much bigger creatures like a Nile crocodile or a grizzly bear, is false. 